Uh, we're going to start with our first sample question. It's going to be number five. I have 110 and 18 ones. Uh, I'm actually going to put a little thing up here that kind of helps me keep, keep me organized. I have a 10 and ones little thing right there. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in my 18 ones and my 110, just like the instruction said. Can I regroup? Yes. I can take 10 away from the ones column and add one into the tens column. So if I add basically 18 minus 10 is 8, 1 plus 1 is 2, so my final answer is 28. Moving on to number 7, I have two tens and 25 ones. So you're actually going to need to regroup twice. 25 ones, obviously that's more than 10. Now how many tens could I put into 25 without going over? Two. If I took away two tens, which would be 20, from the 25, I'd be left with five ones, and then I would add two to the tens column. Now, it already had a previous two, so two plus two makes four, so my final answer would be 45. So let's move on up to uh, page 13. And so I have, uh, let's start with number nine here. So I have three hundreds, two tens, and 62 ones. So I know 62 ones is the same thing as six tens and two ones. So I'm going to put the two ones into that little ones column space, I see. I'm going to add the six tens into the tens column and add it up with the two tens that are already in the question. And I still have three hundreds. Now, two plus six, that equals a total of eight. There's no regrouping involved. There's no regrouping involved with the ones either because it's also below 10. So this is actually quite easy and a total answer of 382. On page number nine. And basically, this is the exact same concept we had earlier in uh, BAS2, uh, except now we're just basically adding one more step. And so, if there are 10 or more tens, you have to regroup 10 of them together as 100 and move it into the hundreds column. Leftover tens will stay in the tens column. This is the exact same concept we had when we were talking about 10 ones becoming 110, except now we're going to have 10 tens become 1 100. So if we have initially four hundreds, fourteen tens, and three ones, I see ten tens over there. We've circled that, and we've put another hundred down the, below there in the hundreds column now. So now I have five hundreds, I have four leftover tens, and I still have three ones. That never changed. So the answer is going to be 543. So now let's go ahead and try the first example we have down here. Uh, let's count what we have. And so I see three hundreds, twelve tens, and five ones. Now I see that I have 10 or more tens, and so I can regroup that to become 100. So I'm going to take 10 of them right there, I've boxed them up, and I'm going to add 100 in there like so. And so now I have left is two tens on the outside of my box, so I now have four hundreds, I have two tens, and I still have my five ones, that didn't change. So if I have four hundreds, two tens, and five ones, I end up with 425. Okay, so we're going to move on to uh, page 10. Uh, basically, the, what you really need to keep in mind are to, basically there's two steps involved. Uh, regroup 10 ones if needed into the tens column, and then regroup 10 tens if you need into the hundreds column. So going over the example here, I see that I have uh, 500, 16 tens, and 13 ones. So I'm going to start with the ones. Can I regroup? Yes. I have 10 or more. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 10 away from the 1's column and add 1 into the 10's column. So now when I move down, instead of 13 1's I now have 3. And now instead of 16 10's I now have 17 10's. I still have 5 hundreds. I haven't got to that part yet. Now let's do step 2. Can I regroup 10's? Yes, because I have 10 or more again. So I'm going to take 10 10's away from the 10's column and then I'm going to add one into the hundreds column. So I'm now going to end up with three ones, seven tens, and six hundreds. So my final answer is going to be 673. So let's try another example. I have two hundreds, twelve tens, and fifteen ones. Can I regroup the ones? Yes. I can take ten away from the ones column, and I can also add one into the tens column because of it. So now instead of 15 ones, I now have 5. Instead of 12 tens, I now have 13. And I still have 200s to start. Now let's look at step 2. Can I regroup in the tens place? 
Yes, I have 10 or more again. So I'm going to take 10 tens away, and I'm going to add 1 to the hundreds. So I still have 5 ones. I have now 3 tens that are taking 10 away. And after I add 1, I now have 3 hundreds. So my final answer is 335. Let's move on to page 11. So um, let's just concentrate on number 3 here. So I have 452 plus 457. So I'm going to put a 4 in the hundreds, 5 in the tens, and a 2 in the ones place, and a 4 in the hundreds, 5 in the tens, and 7 in the ones place for 452 and 457. So when I add them down, 2 ones plus 7 ones ends up with 9 ones. 5 tens and 5 tens gives me 10 tens. 4 hundreds and 4 hundreds gives me 8 hundreds. Let's see if I can regroup. Can I regroup in the ones column? No, I do not have 10, at, I do not have at least 10, so I can't do it. Can I regroup in the tens column? Yes, I have 10 or more. So I'm going to take 10 away from the tens column, that would leave me with 0, and I'm going to add 1 into the hundreds column, that's going to leave me with 9. So I now end up with 909. All right, so let's start with uh, page 14. Uh, I have 82 plus 84, and so I'm going to add the ones column, and 2 plus 4 makes 6. Now, I can't regroup that because that's less than 10. So then I move over to the tens column. I have 8 and 8. They add up to 16. So you know to basically put the 6 down below it and then add 1 into the next column. Now, there's no numbers out there, but it's basically like having a 0 out there. There's 0 hundreds out there. So I'm going to still add 1 into the hundreds column. Now I'm going to add all the hundreds together. The only, the only one we have is that one I've put there, so I just bring it down. So my final answer is going to be 166.